Okay, if you'd have been watching my uh, video God Proven 100% uh, by Electromagnetic Waves, you will see that I can and have proven that electromagnetic energy travels in a double helix so that it can penetrate DNA double helix matter, which is in everything. Um, so now I'm going to show that this uh, double helix um, is in fact present in atoms and that is the direction that the electron takes because atoms cannot be round and have waves because a wave means it is interlinked with the wave behind it and a ball shape no matter how much you want to think you can pulse that ball will never attach itself in a wave formation so atoms are not round they are spinning in a certain direction the electron is moving in a certain construct because atoms are constructed from electromagnetic waves how god does this i don't know has he done it yes and all these energy lines increase or decrease with the energy that is inside them basically we are living in a matrix which is the electromagnetic field and it is moving all the matter on this earth because energy moves matter matter does not move itself ever that would be magic and that's for atheist science only now an electron goes around here let's take hydrogen because that's kind of the picture i've drawn i've drawn it with two orbitals and i show how the electron will link into the second wave continuously so if we look at the top picture, you will see that I have started in the outer boundary. Now, down is anti-clockwise and up is clockwise. Anything falling to the ground, liquid, because that's the easiest thing to be able to see, liquid falling to the ground falls in the anti-clockwise motion. You can see this in your toilet and in, if you just pour water, it will pour in an anti-clockwise direction. Smoke and fire, on the other hand, goes upwards and it goes upwards in a clockwise rotation. So for the atom that I'm showing here is a hydrogen atom with two orbitals and it must run in double helix lines. And I've already shown uh, from the, my video of 100% uh, proving God with electromagnetic waves is that smoke pulses up in a double helix and your double helix has uh, connecting lines that connect each side of the double helix. I proved this conclusively in my last video that the energy pulsed from the cigarette I am holding um, pulses in a double helix exactly the same as DNA which is why DNA is double helix how else did you think it was powered it has to be powered by double helix energy because it travels in two directions down up down up alternating current so if we go to the top picture there we will see in the red I've uh, separated down into four different pictures that uh, rotate I give them a 45 degree flip because in my head I see them spinning um, but this 45 degree flip is only so that you know that things are changing direction so in picture one on the left we have an anti-clockwise uh, rotation which swirls from the top of the atom all the way down to the bottom then as I've shown that uh, energy pulses just like DNA it has rungs so in the second picture it takes a flip and the electron gets pulled into the across the, to the nucleus in a straight line then there is another flip then the energy travels clockwise upwards then on picture four it travels across the DNA ladder or atom ladder and reconnects back to the original beginning drawing which is now the outer boundary so it spins around goes across to the middle spins around goes across to the outer spins around goes across to the middle spins around goes across to the outer this is how you get a pulsed wave now if this was spinning at the speed of light in the CX and the CY direction you will get a ball that pulses off waves and that is how an atom works now just below that you can see uh, what I've done with the wave. I've taken uh, the DNA ladder and I've flattened it for 2D effects so you can understand what's going on because I see them all rotating but it's hard to put that into pictures or video without you know having video training. So I flatten the ladder. Now the energy, imagine a beach running across there. So you have energy coming down then it goes 
from left to right, then it goes down and left to right, down and left to right, because the energy goes down and across and down. Even though it's going down through the clockwise rotation, that line is moving anti-clockwise the whole time it goes across the screen in waves there. Because as I show on my video, matter can travel in either direction because inside every helix is another double helix and inside that double helix is another double helix down to infinity and out to the width of the cosmos. So the energy comes down anti-clockwise and across and normally it would go up because that would be the end of the waveform but everything is pushing down. So it goes down, it goes across and then it goes down and then it goes across because energy cannot push upwards so it's only pushing downwards but it's also pushing in an anti-clockwise rotation which means it's always pushing it to one side down across down across down across now if this was a fire the uh, yellow line that I've got waving across there would be going up and to the right up and to the right up and to the right because moving to the right is the anti-clockwise rotation of the earth and inside that anti-clockwise rotation is the clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation of energy uh, again goes to gravity two down one up two down for gravity down one up so you can stand up gravity otherwise we'd all be flat to the ground so here's a, an easier drawing to look at a little bit more complicated um, just because I've thrown the DNA ladder up there but not really um, so that would be your DNA and on the right would be uh, the wave pulse of the ocean. And what's happening is downwards anti-clockwise, across the ladder, up clockwise. Down anti-clockwise, across the ladder, up clockwise. Down, across, up. Down, across, up. Always going from left to right because that is anti-clockwise, uh, which is what causes the ocean to push. When it's pushed forward, it gets pushed <laughs> forward and then it gets dragged back and, and to the right pushed forward dragged back and to the right pushed forward and dragged back to the right it is the rolling double helix of push and pull forward to the right back to the right forward to the right back to the right forward to the right back to the right the waveform always goes to the right or anti-clockwise which is the spin of the planet so it always goes anti-clockwise after pushing or pulling, which is why it's able to go anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, and have motion because there are three rotations in the Earth, two anti-clockwise and two clockwise. So there you have it, how an atom really functions and the, how the electron travels um, and how waves are made and um, basically also shared at the same time how energy travels through DNA double helix. It is pushed, turned anti-clockwise, pulled, turned anti-clockwise, pushed, turned anti-clockwise, pulled, turned anti-clockwise, which means left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. That is how energy passes through all DNA. Thank you very much. My name is Lee and I am a Christian. And for all my Christian brothers and sisters out there, this one's for you. The actual electron is attached by a single strand of double helix. So what you're looking at up there, imagine an electric ball attached by an electric string to the nucleus. Basically, it's a flaming sword. So, hopefully that gives uh, some of my brothers and sisters in Christ some hope, because this is the flaming sword that spins around an atom it is the flaming sword from the Bible. This is not the entrance to Eden, <laughs> but the electrical fractal nature of energy is the same principle. Around an atom spins a flaming sword and behind it, it leaves a trail of matter which makes the wave. My name is Lee and I'm a Christian.